people have came here for the night. Yeah. <laughs> you know how to make a campfire? Yes. Fruitcake. <laughs> do this? <laughs> we can't cook our food. We can't fucking do it. You wanna just get Maccas? Yeah. <laughs> yeah alright, alright. We're gonna just get two Juniors. Hello? Hi, you guys have seen some soda. Can I get two Whopper Juniors? Sorry? Can I get two Whopper Juniors? Two Whopper Juniors? Yeah. Juniors, Juniors. You have a five now. Uh, juniors? What for genius? Okay, no, nah, just just dish the burger. Dish the burger? Yeah. Yep, that's fine. Anything else? Um drinks or anything? Uh I'll get frozen a frozen cokes. You want frozen yeah. coke? Can we get two frozen cokes? Yep, so two bottles of cheese, frozen soda sauce, and then you want after a frozen coke. What for juniors? Yeah, what for juniors? Not what we choose. Sorry? What for juniors? So what for juniors and cheese or the swapping? Just what? Just what for juniors? Just what for juniors? Just what for juniors? Yeah. And you're after them a cheese? Nah, no cheese. No cheese? Yes, that's fine. Nice. Two what for juniors? Yeah. And one frozen coke? Two frozen cokes. Two frozen cokes. Yeah. Yep. I think they can't hear us. <laughs> Alright. What's up guys? So, um, my name's Tiaz and we're doing a little video for Final Fantasy Versus 15. Uh, I got my man with me, Andrew. What's up? <laughs> What's up? So, we, did, we pulled out like a closet cosplay for <laughs> Prompto and yeah. Noctis. That's it. This is pretty much a wig that I use for Cloud, so you can see it's very <laughs> rushed. Looks good. I like yeah. it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> It is recording, isn't it? I think so. Yes. Yes, it is. Today we're reviewing Final Fantasy 15. Yeah. So mm. we both finished the story mode. Um, so what do you think of the story? Um, I think the story is really good. Um, it's, it's all nonsense, <laughs> to be yeah, honest. It's but, a lot of but it's it was well told. It's well yeah. told. It was um, very convoluted in places. Yeah. The pacing was a bit... Uh, but it was still good. It was a good story. Was, uh, yeah. What do you think between the game that really like was it getting really good? Where was it? Where was it starting to get good? Yeah. I think it was really good at the start. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you think it dropped off? I um. See, I don't know. Yeah, actually, yeah, I'll say yes. It, it did drop off a bit for me in the end. I think the um, uh, the end was especially like, what the hell just happened? Um, yeah, it wasn't really clear. And it was right, so let's, quick. Not, let's not talk about the. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It started like, off yeah. like, oh, this is good, and then you start playing it, and then it's like, oh man. Well, first we're of all, we're getting really quick. Yeah. We're going really fast right now. I think there are just just some pacing issues with the game. Yeah. That's it. What is it, Iggy? I've come up with a new recipe. People are gonna remember it more for the characters than the game yes. themselves. Yes. Yeah. Like, um, I think that's where 15. Yeah. Oh, the a little about, bit like that. That impact of these characters and that they mean something. Oh, uh, I think. Though there is a brotherhood there. Yeah. I just. I think the I characters are like great, but we don't have enough um, story fleshed out within the game themselves. Yes. The problem with this one is like, with the narrative with this is that you need to play, you need to um, watch the movie King's Blade yes. and, and the anime series as well. Yes, because if you if you jump in this game without watching, just King's straight Blade, up, yeah, you're gonna be thinking. You, you're you're not gonna know, you're not gonna care for these characters as much. Um, yeah, the anime like fleshes out the the cast. Um, the uh, the movie shows a lot of things that they don't show in the game. Mm. If I, even with, even with those two, I feel like there's still a lot they they're not showing us. 
Exactly. Yeah. I, I think Especially we, towards the end. I think we're gonna have to pay for it through DLC. Oh yeah, there's that. There's a seven seven episodes. Yeah. I think you could buy. Yeah. For future content. Uh, like the season pass. Yeah, that's yeah. it. And I think we're gonna get a bit more about the characters. Yeah. And especially, um, part of it, when we're talking about story, you think about, um, without getting much away, yeah. there's a, the love interest, Luna Freya, and Noctis, and it's... <laughs> what do you think of that? Like, was it... Uh, uh, I prefer... Uh, there's this other character that you get introduced to, and she's in the um, anime. <laughs> yeah. I think you know who I'm talking about. Yeah, I know yeah, who yeah. you're talking about. I, I feel like... Those two have better chemistry. <laughs> her and Noctis. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Wait, the, yeah, yeah. The, the romance between Noctis and um, Luna Freya I mean, just felt forced. It did. It I did. mean, like, it really it kind of is. I mean, because it's like a tactical marriage kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Just pass the sword when I'm up. Nah, it's alright, man. <laughs> I, I shut up. Not in those shoes, dude. <laughs> Wait, we can do Wolf Strike. Wolf Strike. Wolf Strike. Get your selfie. I don't know. And there's, um, oh, we have to still talk about story. Story, story. Still story, yeah. Um. Relationships between. Wait, I like how at the, at the start it says, um, for. A Final Fantasy for first timers and fans alike. Yes. <laughs> I think that was. <laughs> the thing is, like with for Final Fantasy fans, they would have followed, been they would have already been following this game since yeah it was announced, and it would have kept up with all everything that came out with it. Um, whereas newcomers, they'd probably just start off with the game, and yeah, like we said, if you didn't keep up with the movie or the anime, you're not gonna get what much of what's going on. Mm. It's just like, if you were to play this game without that prior knowledge, yeah. How, what, what would you think? Without the knowledge, uh, like, like I'm just a prince trying I'll, to get a prince. I will probably just like play the game and skip the cutscene yeah. and dialogue. But then again, like a lot of the stuff that I care for is just the characters that are out of the story, you know? Yeah. Like the world itself. The relationship between uh, Noctis and his friends. So yeah. we have Noctis. We got Prompto, who's like the com comic relief. Yeah. We got Gladius. Gladius. Like a lot of uh, anime archetypes. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Uh, Gladius is like the strong. So we basically guy. got. We both basically have um, Leonardo, Donatello, yes. <laughs> Raphael, <laughs> and Michelangelo. So many people have said that. <laughs> you got the smart one. You got the funny one. Yeah. Yeah. Who's your favorite out of those? I don't really like Gladio, to be honest. Yeah? Yeah. He just says it as it is, you know? <laughs> you watch the um, the anime, they kind of give a bit. Yeah, yeah. A bit of like, insight. Yeah. Their brotherhood. <laughs> stand by me. Oh, darling, darling, stand by me. Oh, stand by me. Won't you stand? Stand by me. Oh. Stand by, stand by me. me. Hi. When the night. I forget the word. Yeah. <laughs> oh. What did I have to say? I like prior knowledge, like with all like the anime and stuff. Yeah. I think Prompto, he's, he's a really cool character. Yeah. But. I do like Noctis, though. He's still a bit, he's a bit bland, yeah. but maybe that's the point. Yeah. Right. yeah I just want to summon something. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting, I'm getting slaughtered by these chickens, man. What is this, Legend of Zelda? Yeah. <laughs> you want to talk about the combat? Yeah, we'll talk about gameplay. Gameplay? Gameplay. Alright, All right, so would you say this is Grand Theft Auto Final Fantasy? <laughs> oh, wouldn't say that. Nah, I'd I... say... It does have like all those aspects of Final Fantasy that we do like. Yeah, like, and then so. <laughs> <laughs> and the the style is cool. And the open world's decent. Like I wish there was 
I don't know, I wish it felt a bit more lively. Yeah. And and I felt like the the outside world of those uh, insomnia has been just, like partially destroyed. Ah, uh, yeah. I feel like the world's a bit disconnected. Like the main the main quest is yeah. disconnected from the side quest. But that's fair enough. Yes. Because well, like, I would have, yeah, I would have preferred to explore more of the city at least before you leave. Yeah. All you get is a you get a bit, but yeah. you don't get too much. Like, it would have been nice to see that in a nice grand scale. Yeah. I love the um. Well, the combat's really good. I gotta admit, it's okay. It's not bad. <laughs> it, it's changed since uh, since the um episode the sky demo. Did you play the demo? Yes. It was very um. I played the platinum demo, not the. Oh, not okay, nah. right. Uh, not the. I heard there was a lot of. Here. I remember the platinum demo being like. Yeah. Kind of that changed a lot. Oh yeah, the platinum demo is more or less the same as this combat wise. Yeah. But if you play like episode the sky, that the one that came with um Final Fantasy Time Zero, it, it's changed so much since then. The the combat. It's good when there's so much shit going on, like around you, like trees and stuff that can block the camera. That's what it's like. What a, what am I doing? <laughs> you know, like, it's good when it works. Yes. We uh, you get summons in the game, which come at times where you desperately it's need really, it. It's really um conditional, isn't it? Yeah. It's almost like yeah, all your characters are really low on health. Yeah. And it comes up, and you have to hold L two. I almost always get Ramu all the time. Yeah. I don't know, I would have liked like Kingdom Hearts where you could fight alongside yeah. them, but these things are titans and massive. Yeah. It'd be, it'd be quite impossible to... You could probably around. just check them out on YouTube if you... Yeah. <laughs> As you can do this. You have AP, yeah. ability points, you got your skill tree, it kind of reminds me of Final Fantasy X. Yeah, you know, the similar names. to like the speed grid system. Yep. Leveling up. And the license point of uh, 12. I, I, I gotta say, this probably is my favorite Final Fantasy currently. It has like my favorite parts of um, Final Fantasy VI, which is the story and characters. And it's got the my favorite part, my favorite um, things about Final Fantasy XII, which is like just the the op open worldness of it. There's a lot of potential for like spin-offs and stuff. Mm. Or is there? They reach their 10 million copies to sell, which I think they've done. I think they've done that. Yeah. Easy. This game would have sold it. Easy. If not 10 million copies, then 10 million dollars at least. They would have <laughs> made it back. <laughs> made that back. So, um. No, the gameplay is good. It's fun. Very nice. Yeah, well, I don't know. Any closing statements about the game you want to say? You're going to give it a rating? You can give it a rating. You give it a rating? You give it a rating first. You want to give it a rating? I give it a... Well, I have to... I'd probably give this game a 8.6. 8.7, I give it 8.7 out of 10. Out of 10? Out of 10. I give this game a... It's bloody good, mate. Just bloody, go. bloody good, mate. <laughs> it's not perfect, but it's a worthwhile experience. Mm. Out of 10. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Well, if you're a Final Fantasy player, you probably would have played yeah. through it all. Yeah, uh, definitely play it. Yeah. It's worth worth a buy. Alright. Worth your money. Worth your, your guild. Nice. Okay, cool. <laughs>